Hey guys, Boone down south here. Today we're going to do a little product review of something that I just bought at Cabela's last week. So I was looking to get the uh, Bog, I think it's called the Bog Field Pod. And it's basically a tripod set up and it's got a like a rail on it like this long that you put your crossbow or even a rifle into. Because really what I'm looking to do is something to hold my crossbow. Because I was thinking about, number one, there was a kid that's daughter knows, never been hunting before. I thought that would be a good thing for him to sit in a blind with me and have a steady setup kind of thing. I was going to work with him on that. Then my daughter said she wants to shoot one of the bucks we're seeing out here, so it uh, might be good for her. So I'm looking for like a blind ground situation. I do hunt from the, the ground a good bit. Looking for something to hold my weapon, whether it be the crossbow or rifle, but really my focus is really on the crossbow. What I found was the Bog Death Grip Ultralight Clamping Tripod Head. So we're going to go over this, tell you all about it, give it a shot. So hit that like and subscribe and stay tuned. Okay, so I went to Cabela's to look for that field pod, and they didn't have it. They took me over to where the tripods were. And the first thing they showed me was the Bog Death Grip tripod. And it was about $179, and basically it's this with a tripod on it. And uh, I really just didn't want another tripod, because, you know, I do photography. If you watch your stuff on my channel, I've got enough tripods in the house. And just didn't need another tripod to sit around. It's only going to be used two or three times a year. And I looked across the shelf, and I saw this thing. And this will fit a Swiss Arca plate, or an Arca Swiss plate, if you will, for a regular camera tripod. I've already got some heavy-duty camera tripods uh, that I use, an old Bogan that I've used for years with one of my heavy heads for, my, for one of my long lenses that I use. And I thought, man, that'll work great. So we're going to try this thing out. So let's get this thing opened up. Let's see what it looks like in here. Basically, pretty straightforward instruction book and... Wrapped in bubble wrap. All right, is this what we're looking at? It actually, it already has an Arca Swiss plate. I thought it was compatible with one, and it may be if you take these screws out, but this is an Arca Swiss plate, so this should fit right in my tripod head without the need for me to provide another plate. And Allen wrench, and it looks like some type of a set screw here. And I just, and think of instructions, I'm just gonna look at this real quick and then pop this on the tripod and We'll check it out, but very, uh, it's got a lot of rubber components to it inside here, inside, you know, it's heavy metal. It feels like it's pretty solid, to be honest with you, so I, so I like the feel of it. But ideally, you're going to put your weapon in there, and you're going to clamp down, and it's, it looks like it's going to be well protected with the with the padding they have in there. So, okay, so now I know what this is. It comes with an Arca Swiss plate. If you've got something else, and you can just use a quarter 20 type uh, threaded screw, then you can take this out. That's what the Allen wrench is for, for these screws. Take this Arca Swiss plate off. And they've got this adapter that would pop in there to give you a quarter 20 threaded screw for a different type of mount. We're going to go hook this up my tripod and see what we can do. Okay, this is the Bogan tripod that I've got. I've got an Alta BH300 head on here. This is, um, this is pretty comparable with the really right stuff, big ball head that they've got. It's like 10 times the price of this thing. And I've got a review on this head, and I'll, I'll put a link up where you can check it out. But this plate fits right on there. So we're going to thread this on, tighten it up. All right, we are good. Love it, love it, love it. You set your weapon in here, tighten the clamps up, and then you're ready to rock and roll. All right, this is my Wicked Ridge M370 that I got last year. Took three deer with it last year. It was a great, great crossbow. You can check out the review I have on that. Plano Spire case, also a review on that. I'll put a link up for that for you. But we're going to see how, this, how well this is going to mount in here. And I'm thinking... I'm gonna have to go into this component right here as such. To get those, pull those bars in there. See how well this will mount in there. Maybe you don't need those bars in there, so it pulls back a little bit. All right, I feel good. And I wanna have my, this loose enough, because I really just wanna steady, right? So I don't need this too tight. I don't need my ball head too tight, but if I wanna lock it, let's see here well, it locks it. Look at that. That head locks it well. Holds the weight of that tripod. This is great. So this is the head that holds my 150-600 lens, and it can hold the weight, so check that out. So it's just a matter of uh, getting to your stand, getting your tripod adjusted to the right height, or getting in a blind or on the ground, and uh, setting this up. So we're going to uh, adjust the height on my tripod here to this chair. This is one of the blind chairs I've got. We're going to do that. We're going to put a bolt in here. We're going to give it a shot and see how it feels. 
All right, got a target about 20 yards down range. So now I'm going to adjust my ball head the way I want it to be. Perfect. I've got some movement there. And here we go. Take the safety off. Boom. I think I like it. I think I like it. We're going to shoot a few times. Let my daughter shoot it. See how she likes it. Go from there. But this is a great way to just have your crossbow at the right height when you're blind. So, and just having this head instead of having to get the whole tripod. I've already got a tripod. Seems to work really good. If you do go that route, make sure you have a strong enough head for it, though. You don't want to put it on a small head for sure. This is going to work out for me. And I think this is going to be well work well for my rifle. It's one spot that I take my daughter and we sit pretty much with our butts on the ground and my tripod, I could spread it out right above me and just have my gun just a few inches above me off the ground ready to go instead of holding it on my knees. Probably make it a lot easier filming stuff. So we we'll take a couple more shots with this thing. Let my daughter try it out. And, but so far, it looks promising. All right, it's back by his first time to shoot this crossbow. So she's going to give it a try on this death grip by Bog on top of my Bogan tripod. Remember to keep your fingers down below the handguard before you even take the safety off on that thing. Okay. Fire. Then put it on fire. Yep. To keep your hands behind or lower than those strings, keep them down. Just put it on the, one hand on the tripod. There you go. That's the best thing to do. All right, line up that top line on one of the dots on the target and fire when ready. And it looks like she's on the money. Awesome. We had to take a little break because deer came out in the field and it's not hunting season yet. So I didn't want anybody to be misconstrued or be misconstrued as hunting out of season. Let's go check this out. All right, that was Rebecca's shot. So uh, yeah, not too bad. All right, so this is the Wicked Ridge M370 and it's working in here. But what I have noticed is I'm messing around with it and cocking it and stuff. It can, let me lock this head down a little bit tight. It can kind of twist in here. If you notice, I'm lifting up and it can kind of move inside this death grip. Now, for the most part, it's holding it fairly well. And like I said, I could loosen this up, lock it, it's not coming out. You do this, it's not coming out, okay? But you can rotate a little bit, and, and I think it's just because of this uh, crossbow, the way it's molded. And I'll show you what I mean here. If you take a look at this, it's only gripping onto this lower rail that's going inside the death grip right here. And it's rounded, so you can kind of see how that could happen, right? And so, when you set it in here, it's the red, the uh, hand guards don't make it all the way down to it. So it's got, it could have a little play I've noticed, but I mean, it's been effective and um, it's not locked in right now, but uh, it's been effective. And I think it's fine if you're aware of that. I think for a rifle or a, another type of crossbow where they had maybe a solid, a solid piece right here, it would hold a little better. But you know, overall I feel comfortable from what I've seen so far that this will sit in here. I can sit in a blind, have it at the ready, sit for a couple hours and it'll be ready to go. So. You know, if you if you start rough handling it, if you will, it could, you, you could probably pull it out of there. But uh, for the most part, I think it's going to hold well. So the next thing is, well, we know this is on, first of all. So we're ready for this. Uh, probably shoot some longer distance with it. But then we're going to try this out with my rifle, too. So we're going to give that a shot. And then hunting season is just around the corner. And Rebecca wants to get her one of the bucks that's been coming around here. So we're going to set up a ground blind setup, use this in it, and see if she can get one. All right, so here's the setup in this caretaker. I got blind. Here's that head, the uh, thing I bought to mount the, the crossbow on. So, Becca's sitting here ready with it. So, we're just gonna see what happens tonight. All right, it's kind of windy out here this morning. We're gonna try out this, uh, the Bog Death Grip Ultralight mounting head. So it's just this component. Uh, I already had a tripod that I use for my photography stuff. And wow, this wind's really bad right now. So hopefully you can, you can pick me up. But anyway, I've already used this with a crossbow. It works really well. It works even better with a rifle, my particular rifle, just because of the stock. The crossbow, just because of the way it's molded, you know, it does hold it, but, uh, and it works fine, but, you know, it's not going to be as, as tight of a grip as the, as a gun stock, just because of the, you know, the shape of the, the rifles, you know, so, but it holds it very solidly. So we're going to use this for a little target practice here and just try this out and uh, let my daughter get used to, use this rifle one more time before she goes out hunting. Okay. All right. So you ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let's see how well you can hit the target down there that we got set up. Right. And uh, shoot it off of here and see what you got. 
You can take it off safe and fire when ready. Are you saying to hold it up here? Is that saying left across? I would though? take. Or like that. I would do this. Put it underneath it. That's wow. how I like to grip it, like this. With this hand? I take this hand underneath the stock and put it on my shoulder. Like that? That's what I do and lean into it. Right. When it's on a rest like that. How was that? That was good. I can't see where I hit though. All right, well, we'll go down and check it out. And just put it on safe again. Yep, put it on safe. Turn the rifle over towards the woods over there so it's not facing us while we walk down the target. Well, I gotta like open it to put it on safe. You can open it, yeah. But yeah, you have to open it to put it on safe. Okay. Just pull it back and don't rack one in there. Okay, leave it open, leave it open. I can't put it on safe that way though. I know, just leave it open though and then point it over that way. Okay, let's walk down there and take a look. All right. Okay, the last uh, shots from that was from a Savage 243, an older one. This is gonna be the Browning. It's an A-bolt and a 30-06. We're gonna try this one now. I'm good, you're good. So again, this is the Bog Death Grip Ultralight. It's just this piece right here. It's got my crossbow sitting in it. You've seen from the shots, um, you know, we hunted with a crossbow with it in the blind. That It worked really well for that. And that's really what I got it for. But what I didn't think about until after the fact was that uh, it's really good for just sighting rifles in. So my daughter wanted to go hunting last week. And so you, you've seen the shots of her with a, shooting 243 and the 243 was off. And, and I haven't had a chance to get that sighted in yet. Uh, I had to go to work. But she really wanted to hunt that night. So we put the 30-06 in here and tried it. Very good the way these grips are on here. Especially with the rifle, it, it, uh, it's very cushioned, so it doesn't mar the finish when the gun bounces. And you can see how much kick that 30 6 had on her, because my daughter's got a small frame, so it, it gave her a while. But she ended up hunting that night. I had to go to work, let her hunt with her grandpa and my father, and uh, got in the blind, and she was using my 30 6 with this death grip right here, and had a 7 point came out on her, and he was pretty tall. They thought it was an 8 point pretty tall, and, uh, and she shot it right off the death grip. Worked great. So I am very happy with it. Like I said, they, they have another part. It's almost twice as much where it comes with a tripod. But I've already got camera gear, photography gear. Already got a nice head. And you're gonna need a head that's gonna support the weight too. And not, not just like any tripod will do. So you gotta have a head that's gonna support the weight. But I used some bigger lenses on my camera, so I already needed a bigger head. But I already had that, so this just worked great. And, and you can see, you get your headset and you can move this around. You got the freedom of movement to move this around. And uh, just gives you a really solid feel to it. So I'm tickle pink with this. I love it. And uh, this is how, instead of using pulling out the gun sled to target in my rifles, I'm just going to pop it right on this and get set up and side them in. So works well. It's been field tested now and still happy with it. So, so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed and hit that like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.